so welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do sort of a different video. I've been promising to show you, really, like right now, as per usual, this is your cute. All right. So Shafia wants to do the intro for me. What are you gonna say? I love that I haven't cut her hair in like, I don't know, four or five months, maybe six. <laughs> A lot of you guys have commented on her hair like has she gained weight or I love how her hair looks so fluffy so she's half poodle and half schnauzer so schnauzers get skirts and poodles have curls so you can imagine what her natural full outgrown hair looks like she's kind of a mess more than usual <laughs> So um, we've been kind of leaving it long and just having to brush her. Um, she's looking super cute, isn't she? She kind of looks a little girly. No one needs to know your tomboy secrets. I'll keep it. I'll keep your secret. I'll keep your secret. I love you, my pretty girl. <laughs> okay, you guys, so back on track. This video is gonna be a little unconventional and spacey and squirrely more than usual. The stuff that I know is from you guys. I like save it and save it and save it like a hoarder, like a love hoarder. Um, and so it's time. I think I have maybe like 10 boxes here from around Christmas time until today. I actually haven't gone to my PO box in about two weeks, so we'll see how how that happens. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into this. So for safety reasons, I'm going to um, bring my tower down here. Um, and then we'll start off with this little package. This is from uh, Miss Beckman in Indiana. Okay, so this package is from Sherry. And she says, I sent you a few of these items to thank you for inspiring me and teaching me how to be a strong woman that goes for her dreams. So Sherry actually opened um, her own Etsy shop called Essentially Mixed by CE. She makes healing balms like headache balm and sleepy balm as well as potpourri. You guys, I buy potpourri. I used to have to buy it at Bed Bath & Beyond, but now that Target has it, I don't have to go so far. So she actually sent me um, potpourri um, in grapefruit and eucalyptus, and her stuff is in glass. That's kind of nice. So that's what that looks like. I kind of want to rip it open um, to see what it smells like. So grapefruit and eucalyptus. Let's see. Leslie, can I spray you? Oh, that smells so good. I would totally spray that. I'm gonna go put this in the um, restroom. Um, the one I have in my bathroom right now is lavender. <laughs> and it's so obvious when you go poop because it smells like lavender. <laughs> and then the other thing she said was sleepy balm. So I'm guessing this is to like relax you um, and make you sleepy, maybe. What does it smell like? Coconut oil, beeswax, jojoba oil, lavender, ling ling, and marjoram. I wonder where you're supposed to put it. Like your temples or behind your ears? So it's just like a balm. Um, I'm gonna have to go look up her Etsy shop for directions. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sherry. This is a package that um, I accidentally opened. I thought it was PR, and then when I saw a gift for you, I like stopped. I stopped myself in my tracks. You know how hard it was? Because there's no tape on here. There's no, there's no staples. There's no ceiling. It's just a bag. Sometimes I'm amazed at my self-control. Then I eat two cheeseburgers and I discredit myself completely. Um, so it says, thanks for being you. Your videos have lifted my spirits in my dark days and made my good days even better. I promise this book won't make you smell. <laughs> make you smell like beef tallow <laughs> when you guys quote like random crap that I mentioned in my videos I'm like that's a panda that watches everything I put out so thank you so much Lindy um, I'm excited to see what book this is you guys know I'm a fan of all the like self-help books um, personal development relationship development books um, this is called your love no matter what Freeing your heart from the need to be perfect. Lindy? <laughs> Lindy, do you know my soul? <laughs> oh my God. Just the title alone seems like something I would buy for myself. So what is this book about? As women, we tend to think that if we could only get our act together, life would be perfect. But you're not supposed to be perfect. You're supposed to be human. And humans are messy, flawed, glorious, and deeply loved. 
Oh my gosh. How would your life be different if you truly believed your love just as you are? You know what? When I was going on my tumultuous dating journey, I met one man that changed my life forever. Um, things didn't work out and they never would have anyway, but the one piece of wisdom or I don't know, psych evaluation that he did on me was, um, you have to stop believing in conditional love. For some reason, you think you need to earn love and that's not the way life works. Everyone deserves to be loved. Everyone can be loved. You can be loved no matter how many mistakes you make. You don't have, you don't have to earn love. You know, it's not like a job where you get paid in love. That's not how life works. And I was like, it's not. I mean, because culturally I was raised that way. You know, you have to, um, earn it. You know, you have, you have to earn it doing different things or being a certain way. And so I was like, it kind of reminded me of that um, commencement speech that Mr. Rogers gave once. He said, um, you don't have to do anything spectacular to be loved. You can just be you, you know? And I think we have this, we have this irrational sense that in order for us to matter or to make a difference or to be important or to be loved, we have to be gifted and talented or above and beyond or just more than average and that's not true so Lindy thank you <laughs> thank you for not making me smell like beef tallow <laughs> okay moving on to a package from Pennsylvania from Melissa let's see what's in here it says do not bend I'm nervous <laughs> Oh, I'm like, don't tell me what to do. No, I want to bend it. I'm like that kid. So I open it up and there's cardboard, right? And I was like, there has to be a note. Danny, please read first. So one moment, please. Okay, so first of all, Melissa sent me letterhead with pandas on it. Not any old average panda. Chubby pandas. How cute is that? <laughs> So she says how she watches all my vlogs, really, really sweet, kind words. She's so happy to see me happy and that Parker and I found each other. Um, and then she also uh, said that she's sending me some words that always inspire her and help her get by during hard times. So I'm guessing that's what this is. Um, so, oh, okay, here we go. It says, and once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what the storm is all about. And I'm a crybaby. <laughs> you guys, my best friend Samantha's probably making fun of me right now. <laughs> She's like, are you crying again? <laughs> I wear all my emotions on my face and on my sleeve and when someone that has never met me goes out of their way to encourage me in any way, any and all possible doubt that I ever had in friendships, in humanity, in, in people is restored because Melissa doesn't know me, but she saw that I was struggling and wanted to help. So I think as humans, we may feel like maybe the best way to fix this planet is to have a clean slate and start all over, have some sort of like extinction process, right? But I think that no matter how big or how small, if every single one of us does something kind every single day, it carries enough weight to make a difference. You know, you could change someone's day just by a kind word and that person can go on and do something completely life-changing so thank you so much melissa for being so thoughtful um but especially for the chubby pandas <laughs> okay now we're gonna go with this package from rihanna hendrix from mansfield she's basically my neighbor <laughs> this package was so heavy that when I went to pick it up, there were other packages. The guy's like, can I help you? I'll take it to you. I'll take it to the car for you. And I was like, I have a boyfriend, sir. Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a letter first, but I kind of don't want to see the letter first. I want to show you this. <gasps> oh my 
goodness. It's so soft. Wesley, you want to see it? Oh my goodness. Look, Bunker. Look, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look, you guys. And they're so chubby. Look at this one. He's my favorite. Look at how fat he is. Oh. You guys, I can't even explain to you how soft this blanket is. It is like this thin, but look at it. Wesley, come here, come here, come here, Wesley, come here. Look at this blanket. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, isn't that nice? Yes, it's so soft like your face. It's so soft. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven right now. So let's read the letter. Let me put this to the side. You guys, so... Lovely Rihanna sent me a birthday present. So I've had this box since my birthday. Um, she goes on to tell me a little bit about herself um, and all the stuff we have in common. Her two dogs, Witten and Bruno. Um, her letter, it just feels like I'm sitting across from a friend and um, just catching up and learning about each other. It's full of kindness and she says she's a giver so she's included stuff for everyone in the family except uh, Parker. I'm sorry, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> so if you guys wanna see, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. I kinda wanna keep this to myself. <laughs> I don't wanna show you this cuteness. I want this all to myself. Bruno and Witten, you guys, meet the newest little pandas to our family. How cute are they? I feel like we need a video. We need a video of these little nuggets in action. It's almost April. They're going to be probably, what, like six months, maybe? This is our lovely Rihanna with uh, Bella and Lola. I hope I'm saying your name right. I really do. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Um, she's an animal lover like I am. Let's see what's in the box, you guys. This is so exciting. Oh, my God. He's so chubby! Look at his little tail. Oh, it's a little nubbin. How cute is that? This is for me, right? Do I have to give this to the dogs? Because <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, then we have um, natural deodorant in lavender and bergamot. Ooh, it smells good. You know what it smells like? Fruit Loops. It must be like lemongrass in here. Oh, that smells good, you guys. We need an update on the natural deodorant situation. Um, then we have, what is this? Oh, they're leggings! Look how pretty! Look at that pattern! That is so pretty, look how soft they are. Do you see that? They're like super soft and silky. Okay, then we have, oh my god! Oh my god, look at these fluffy socks! Have I told you guys that I love socks? I don't think I've mentioned that before, but my best friend Sam knows how much I love socks and she always finds like the best ones. How pretty are these? They're like slippers. Oh, and they have the little rubber things on the bottom. That's my favorite. Did you see how I automatically went to check for that? <laughs> okay, what else? Okay, this, ooh, this seems fragile. Where are my scissors? You guys, another little panda mug. Fun fact, this is the most received P.O. Box mail. Um, that, I, that I get all the time. I have like eight of these mugs and you know what? I have all of them. <laughs> I have like a whole set of them now and so if I ever throw like a dinner party, we can all use the same mug. Then we have some hot and cold eye masks. Oh, so you keep these like in the, in the refrigerator? How cute are those? And then a little bag, how cute! Look at it, it's a clear little bag. I love that, I love how chubby. Okay, do I, do I like pandas as much as I like pandas or do I like them because they're chubby? You know what I mean? Um, we have another pair of socks. I love no-show socks. No-show socks are like my go-to sock because of all the shoes that I have. They just happen to be my most needed style. Look how pretty those are. I love this color of green too. You guys, this box is like Christmas that never ends. So there's another little, Panda makeup bag. How cute is that? So sweet. Um, more panda socks. Oh, these are really soft. Look at that. How cute are these? Let me show you guys. Aren't those precious? So sweet. There's a panda mask. Nourishing and firming. A K-Beauty panda mask. I wonder if it looks like a panda. Oh, it does look. 
How cute! And then, what is this? Oh, these are dog toys. How cute! Look! All the dog toys. Oh, Mom, we'll play with this. We'll play with this. We'll play with this. We'll play with this. Oh, you do? Hold on. Gotta make it safe. There you go. Oh, it's a good girl. That's a good girl. Here you go. Grab it. <laughs> she took it away. She's like, mine. <laughs> so if you hear crinkling, it's Sophia. Then we have um, a meaty shin bone. Huh. I know what Mern's going to be enjoying tomorrow. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. What is this? Let's open it. It's a keychain with pandas on it. I knew it was a mirror. I was like, I think it's a mirror. So it's a keychain with pandas, but when you turn it around, it's a mirror. Isn't that cool? I love that it's pink too. And then we have a world full of bath bombs for the boys. She talked about in the letter how I say that my boys are like obsessed with bath bombs. Oh my goodness. Ah, so good. Oh, this one's my favorite. Oh man. So there's Crayola bath bombs, Spider-Man bath bombs. Oh, here's another one, another Crayola, a red one. And then, you guys, look at, <laughs> full of bath bombs. She's like, I wanted to make sure that you were, your boys were fully stocked. Who does that? You guys, every time, I think, I think one of the reasons that I wait so long to do a P.O. Box unboxing is because I don't feel like I deserve this much attention or kindness or just love from strangers you know it's it's overwhelming to the, the point where I just I don't know what to say I don't know if I'm gracious enough I don't know how to thank you and I don't know how like why me you know because you you as a human live your life and, and acquire your experiences and you think people that are closer to you in your life that wouldn't do this for you, that you actually know and you've interacted with and, and, and have some sort of rapport with and, and they wouldn't do grand gestures like this. And you guys that have never met me do it and I'm like, it's just me, you know? <laughs> I hope I'm explaining myself. Uh, in a way that is what I'm trying to say. I I hope that I'm expressing my gratitude enough and, and you can feel and believe how overwhelmed with joy you guys make me. Um, anyway, I'm a mush, I'm a big old mush. Then we have this box from Virginia Beach that you can see is opened. And um, funny story, we went to my PO box, Parker and I, he was helping me with the packages. And um, he was like, so how do you handle packages? I'm like, well, I usually open them at the post office um, just to get rid of packaging or just to make sure that they're safe, you know, instead of bringing them home. I said, but you can usually tell which ones are like panda mail. And so I save those for um, like an unboxing on camera. So he's like diligently helping me open packages and he opened this one. And the minute he like went like this, I was like, stop. <laughs> I saw the blue inside and anytime there's blue or panda, I know it's something that is extremely thoughtful. So I haven't actually looked in here. I just said, stop, Burp, stop, stop it, <laughs> cut it out. No. Um, so let's jump into it. It's from Virginia Beach um, from Jackie. Um, how cute is this? Collect beautiful moments. It's like paper crafting. It's a little, it's a little purse. So I'm sure, I'm guessing she does like paper crafts or like greeting cards and stuff like that. I love that it's the color. <laughs> um, oh yeah, look, paper, it's a paper uh, card or a greeting card. My mom and I used to make cards like this all the time. I totally miss it, you guys. So Jackie included um, a really personal letter in her package. Um, 
and the amount of letters that I get like this is um, overwhelming um, from deaths of a loved one, uh, you know, a parent, a baby, a sibling, um, to tragic loss of like a home or a car or, um, you know, just unexpected life things that happen. Um, and so many of you say that I'm with you along that chapter in your life. So Jackie and I met, met <laughs> in 2013. So she's been a panda from the beginning. Um, and we've been through a lot together. And when you guys tell me in all the ways that I'm able to um, reignite your passion in something, inspire you to do something, remind you that you're not just a mom, um, or just simply keep you company when you are having a dark time or are bored or need to do something you don't want to do, like yucky stuff around the house. Just the fact that I can be alongside you throughout life is the biggest, the biggest compliment because all that says to me is you're being generous with your time and time is the only thing you can't get back. So you spending these many years with me, um, you're giving me the gift. You know, um, I'm not, I'm just, just little old me um, putting out random <laughs> useless content. But if it inspires you and it makes you happy and it brings sunshine to your dark days, then I'm here for it. I'm here and as long as you'll have me, I'll do it. So Jackie, I haven't even seen what's in the box, but thank you. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I never want to use these stickers ever. Look at how cute. I think I mentioned in a video before how much I like stickers because I get stickers a lot in my P.O. box and I use them. <laughs> um, then we have, what is this? Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's a planner. How cute is that? Look at, oh my gosh. This is so thoughtful. I bet she did this all by, oh my God, it's a dog. <laughs> Look at that. Do you sell these or do you have an Etsy shop or what's going on so that I can um, include it on, um, in the description box of this video, Jackie, you have to let us know in the comments below um, if you have an Etsy shop. So basically it's like a custom made um, journal, right? Like a journal, a notepad of some sort. So um, it's held together with this really cool elastic. And then when you open it, it has several notepads inside. So you have this one and she made this really cute matching uh, placeholder or bookmark. And then there is the tab with your pen so you can kind of have a placeholder. Um, and then there's a folder in the middle, uh, like with pockets, which has this little dog bookmark as well. Um, and then the second half of the um, notepad or notebook. Um, oops, there's the back. So it's like a really, um, it's like a cable knit sweater pattern that's really pretty. Look at these tassels. This totally looks handmade. I'm tempted to say, yeah, because it's even stapled. That is so cool. You're super talented, my goodness. I really love the color um, scheme as well. Isn't that beautiful? Jackie, you totally outdid yourself with these gifts. I'm so, so, so humbled by these gifts, but more importantly, thank you for spending so many years with us. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, we've probably had babies together. <laughs> then we have another package from Miss Dana in Columbia, Kentucky. She sent me a mascara. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Dana, you're the best. Her first line in her letter, like, made my heart smile. She said, you're my favorite YouTuber and it makes my heart happy when it pops up that you've posted a new video. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm reading love letters. It's making my heart happy. It's filling my love tank. Like I, I'm blushing. This is the, like, it's making my highlighter look extra highlightery. 
Okay, now this package, I totally know what it is. It's from my friend Martha. Martha is a friend that I made, like a cyber friend that I made because of YouTube. She has a shop called The Good Candle, and um, they are soy-based candles. They're completely non-toxic, and they don't burn black. So I don't know if you've seen some candles that kind of like smoke out. So these candles are amazing, and I think... I don't know if it's true, I don't know if I just haven't noticed right, but I feel like they burn really slow, you know, like they last forever. So she, from time to time, sends me some cute candles, um, like this time. Oh, <laughs> listen, Martha, don't make me take off my hoops. She's like, dear Parker, <laughs> sending you man cave candle. Thank you for making our girl smile. <laughs> If Danny is happy, we are happy. How sweet is that? I went from like froggy to like to in love. <laughs> so let's see what's in this big, big box. Like you guys see what I'm saying? <laughs> if you guys could smell this box, you would die. It smells amazing. So let me tell you one of my favorite things about my friend Martha. First of all, it's not sponsored. Um, we don't work together. I don't make commission. I'm actually going to uh, send her an email, see if she can give you guys a discount code, um, because why not? Um, but like I said, we don't work together. I just met her because I liked her candles. And then I've converted a lot of my girlfriends into fans and they actually order products from her. So one of the reasons I like following Martha is because she shows you ways to repurpose her own candle jars, uh, whether it's whiskey glasses or containers for something. Um, her candles come in little muslin bags. She shows you how to use those or purpose for those, other purposes for those bags as well. So um, how cute are these? Isn't that adorable? So I don't know what we have here. Let's see. Um, which one is this? I just want to see which one's man cave. <laughs> so, oh look, good guess. So we have man cave. Let's see. I'm totally opening Parker's present. Parker just got jacked. No. <laughs> oh my God, that smells so good. I can't even describe it. Like I won't even try because you know how I describe stuff. I'm like, it smells like unicorns and like when you eat like the first bite of a popsicle and it makes you happy in your tummy, you know? <laughs> this is Namaste. Oh, it's so relaxing. <laughs> if I smell this or light it, do I still have to do yoga? <laughs> oh, that smells really good. Okay, what do we have here? This one is Oh, Coco Mango's my favorite. She remembered. Oh, I love this one. This would be like my house scent. If I needed a house scent, like my summer and spring, that would be it. Coco Mango. Ah. This one is Watermelon Punch. I've never smelled this one. <gasps> Can I taste it? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one smells like you can taste it. Like you would want to, like hard watermelon candy. Oh my God, that smells so good. What do we have in here? This is the last candle. You guys, she hooked me up. This is gratitude. Oh, that smells pretty. That smells like something my mom would like. Look at how pretty the jar is. Isn't that beautiful? I would totally, by the way, side note, you guys know I'm a whiskey and bourbon drinker. I would totally drink it out of a glass like this. They're super heavy, they're sturdy. You can just clean them out real easy. Um, wax, the way you take wax out of glasses, or rather I do, I just put the uh, like the dead candle, whatever's left over, I just put it in the freezer and then I stab it with a knife and it cracks. Not the glass, just the wax. It comes right out and then you just wash it. Have I smelled this one or did I put it away? Oh yeah, it's cocoa mango. See, it was in my destiny to smell it again. Oh, it smells so good. That's the original label, if you guys were wondering. She has several collections within her line, so some of them come like this. Isn't that elegant? So fancy. Parker's gonna love that. Um, the original candle looks like that, or the labeling. And then she has like a yoga line that looks like that. Hey, hey, don't get my face. Get the candle, get the candle. <laughs> and if you guys have littles in the house or you're a lot more cautious about like wicks and having fire open flames in your home um, and you melt, she also sells the wax in little melts like this. I used to have a little um, melt 
I don't know what they're called, a melter, like a little plate in my office, but I tripped on it once and then I got super mad, I just put it away. <laughs> I think I need to bring it back though. It's actually in one of my closets. But yeah, she sells these little melts um, and they smell just like her candles, but you don't have to have an open flame. So if you accidentally leave your home, like I may do sometimes, um, you don't have to worry about having a candle, open flame, an open, a turned on candle. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, you guys, we're almost done. I have a package from a name that I recognize. So um, one of my subscribers turned friend's name is Lauren, and um, she's been a subscriber forever. Um, and through the years, we've become friends, like actual friends where we talk quite often. Um, I've kind of followed her adoption journey with her baby girl. You know when you just get a vibe from someone where, hey, if we were given the chance to meet in real life, we'd take it and we'd actually become real life friends. Uh, that's what's happened to me with a lot of my friends now, Allison and Nusha and Paola and Vero. Um, so Lauren is definitely one of the pack. So she and I were talking about how um, Parker's allergic to my wallflowers from uh, Bath and Body Works. And she is a firm, firm, firm believer in oils, like essential oils. So Lauren is kind of a pro with essential oils. She knows the combos, the recipes, which ones are good for what. And so when I was telling her about how Parker is very sensitive to the wallflowers or allergic, I guess, um, she was giving me some options. And I think that might be what is in this box. I could be wrong, but she mentioned something about sending us some uh, personal combos, mixes recipes. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> anyway, so um, what we have here, what is this? Her packages are always super cute too, like very crafty. Like I wish I had the time and patience to be that creative, but always super, super cute. Look at that llama. When she sent me my very first package years ago, she put four stickers of dogs each of my dogs on the front and I cut it out and I kept it and I still have it in my makeup drawer. <laughs> I found it the other day and I sent her a picture. So she says, Danny, you are a light in the world that can often feel gloomy. You encourage and uplift and spread joy and hope. I am thankful for you and your mom and dad. Tell them I said thanks for raising such a wonderful daughter. Happiest of birthdays, dear friend. So this package has been here for a long time and I'm a little embarrassed. Um, she sent the 52 list for happiness, a weekly journaling inspiration for positivity, balance, and joy. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. Um, I have a daily devotional and I have a gratitude journal, but I've never seen anything like this with like a list a concept. List the greatest compliments and encouragement you've ever been given. List the ways that you think someone would love, you love would describe you. List the spaces in your life you would like to create more order and organization in. List the things that made you happy as a child. And then every list has a take action bubble that says um, sort of like how to achieve what's on that list. List things you would like to do that don't involve technology. List things from your past and present that feel like blockades in the way of happiness. List the routines in your personal life and work. Circle all of the routines that bring you joy and cross out all the routines you dislike. What is it about the circled routines that bring you joy? This is awesome. I love that it doesn't have dates in it either because I feel um, overwhelmed or like I'm sucking at life when it has a date and like I'm overwhelmed that day and I miss the date and then I'm behind. It's kind of like when you miss a deadline for schoolwork or something like that. And so when they're open like this, where it's just whenever you want to, you know, fill out a list, go for it. I love that. Lauren, you always, you know, my soul girlfriend. Okay. Then, oh, 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 <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Let's open Parker's first. Do you guys like how I just open Parker's things? I don't even ask. <laughs> He should have been here. He's not here, he should have been here. So we're just gonna open it. Parker, here are a few of my husband's favorites. We hope you like them too. There's a sleep, a deep relief, and a raven. Raven, what are you getting at, girl? Oh wait, never mind. get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> 
Sleep. Roll on the bottoms of your feet and over your wrists for a restful sleep. Deep relief. Roll it on anywhere you have muscle pain. Raven. This little bottle of heaven supports all things respiratory. That's what she and I were talking about. I was like, man, he gets like all sinusy and like congested anytime he's around like my 42 uh, like wallflowers <laughs> plugins. Um, you can use it in a diffuser. You can put it over your chest or just open the bottle and huff it. <laughs> Living in East Tennessee means a lot of pollen and having two dogs means a lot of hair. So we love Raven. So this is Raven. Oh, you know what? Parker got me a diffuser for my birthday. Um, so we'll put it in there. Should I open it? Is that rude to open it without him here? Cause I'm going to break the safety seal. Sorry, Parker. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that, <laughs> that is something I would huff. <laughs> that smells really good. I think he's gonna like that. Okay, and then which one of these is sleep? Okay, this is sleep. Look how pretty it is. Sleep. Sorry, Parker, I'm totally using your gift. Oh, that's really relaxing. Okay, and then this is the deep relief um, for the muscle. Okay, it has a seal. That one, just, I'm gonna pretend I, I didn't open any of them. <laughs> okay, and then this one, Danny got the goods. So, let's see what we have. Danny, you know how you aren't a fan of reading directions? Humor me, okay? <laughs> These rollers can be rolled on the bottoms of your feet, over your heart, behind your ears, on your temples, on your wrists, wherever. Where she totally made these directions easy for me to read. Look at this. Like it's not overwhelming, you know? Like my squirreliness isn't like totally <laughs> triggered. So the rundown for the rollers. They're safe for you and your boys, uh? Feel better, focus, good night, immune, brave, be humble and hustle hard. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can I rub them all on me at the same time? Like that, <laughs> if I layer them and stack the deck, does that make me more powerful? I feel like a Pokemon right now. So feel better, works great for temperatures, ear health, and seasonal discomfort. Focus, rub it behind those sweet ears before homework time or before you need to edit. Good night, who doesn't need better sleep? Immune, germs are everywhere. <laughs> brave, when you're feeling anxious or unsure. Oh my God, brave. Can I get that in like a bathtub full? Uh, be humble and hustle hard. Being a boss mom is hard uses for a boost. Okay, sniff time. You guys, the way that she labeled these makes me wanna know how to use essential oils. <laughs> like to make my own little recipes. Look at, that's immune. Then we have feel better. How beautiful are these little roller balls? Good night. I'm gonna try this tonight for sure. Then there's uh, be humble and hustle hard. How does she even label them? Cause that doesn't come off. And then brave. Oh, I love that one. And focus. She said I should use this before I edit or if the boys have homework. You know, my son's school doesn't do homework. That's weird, right? Focus? I can't tell you what this reminds me of because then you're gonna think I'm a horrible human. It reminds me of a cigar bar, which I may or may not enjoy sitting in. <laughs> it totally makes me focus. <laughs> I don't smoke cigars, but I like to be around the smell. Is that weird? I'm to I told you guys, I'm an olfactory person. Anything that is smell, I'm all about it. I really like that. What is that smell? That smells like tobacco almost. Let's see, this is brave. So when you're feeling anxious. You guys, the rollerball is stuck. I'm not meant to be brave. Oh no, I can't get, I can't get my brave out. Well, it smells really good. I'm gonna have to fix this later. You guys know I know how to fix almost everything. Okay, there's not everything, but I try. So I'm gonna try. I'm like, I, <laughs> I've been shaking it so hard I filled it with bubbles. Um, no, I'm totally gonna get into that later. Let's see, good night. Is good night the same one Parker got too? Let's 
see. Ooh, that smells really relaxing. Feel better. Feel better. What did she say feel better was? Um, ear health and seasonal discomfort. Ooh, that smells really good. Oh, wow, it's very invigorating. <laughs> this is the one I need to rub all over myself every day. This is be humble and hustle hard. I'm going to be covered in essential oils, you guys. I'm going to have a great night's sleep, let me tell you. Ooh, that smells good. Like orange or lemon? So yummy. What is it? Yeah, lemon myrtle is probably what I'm smelling. Or lime. Hi, Lauren. And that's not even the end of it. Look at this. A reusable glass bottle. And I'm guessing it's for my thieves that's also in here. I want to say that she is a young living rep. I'm almost sure she is. And she's probably really good at it if she does really cute bottles like this. So Thieves is a product that um, Natalie is always talking about. Like she has a baby and she cleans everything with Thieves. I mean, she uses Thieves on everything and I've been tempted to try it, but I just don't know where to get it. So it says, Thieves cleaner is bay. It's meant to be diluted, so add a cap full of add a cap full to the glass bottle or a few if you like it strong, and then fill the rest with water. It kills germs. It kills more germs than bleach. You can use it on anything. Windows, counters, toilets, floors, and it's safe to use around or on children. <laughs> I love her sense of humor. She is literally one of my favorite humans ever. Oh my gosh, Lauren, you set us up. Look at this. Thieves spray for like my purse. I'm guessing it's sort of like a hand sanitizer, right? Uh, put it on your handbag and spray in shopping carts, hands, tables, toilet seats, wherever it looks icky. And then um, waterless hand purifier in little itty bitty size. Okay, first of all, Lauren, you speak all my love languages. Second of all, thank you so much for always being such a great friend to me, um, for knowing me so well and dumbing down directions. <laughs> But most importantly, for sharing your life with me and educating me. I love when a friend can teach me something new. And Lauren always, always, always impresses me with the amount of knowledge that she has on certain things like essential oils. So um, I will leave her information. Like I said, I'm almost certain, this is how good of a friend I am, I'm almost certain she is a Young Living rep, um, but I will... Um, link or list her information um, in the description box of this video. Um, you guys, <laughs> I'm covered in essential oils and they all smell really good. I was always under this like misconception or idea that essential oils smelled like medicine-y or way too herby. Like when you walk into a spa and then you walk out smelling like just trees. <laughs> but they actually smell really good. I don't remember what I put here but that's my favorite. I think that was Focus. I think it was Focus. I'm gonna have to go back in the footage and be like, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lauren, I love you. Oh my gosh, you guys. If I told you the story of this package. So I have a subscriber in Alaska and her name's Jessica. She left me a comment in one of my videos and um, I found her on Instagram. I sent her a direct message and I just wanted to send some happiness her way. So I figured out a way to, and I did. Um, and as a thank you, she wanted to send me a package back, um, which <laughs> was a total odyssey. I think we finally figured it out <laughs> and it's in my hands. And as you can tell, this poor package has been abused and battered. It's totally open. It's making noises it shouldn't be. It sounds like there's a broken, maybe a mug or some sort of ceramic in here. But the whole point of the story is it made it and I'm super excited. Um, I wasn't expecting anything, but I'm just happy that I think that stressor is gone because she kept direct messaging me and she was so worried. Jessica was so worried like, oh my God, but I sent it and it got lost and I don't know what's going on. And then she forgot it in her car and she thought she had sent it, but she didn't. Oh my gosh, you guys, if I told you, it was like months, months in the, ha in the, in the works. 
Um, so let's see what's in here. Whatever it is, I'm just happy it's here finally. You guys, it made it! <laughs> I have a package from Alaska! This is really exciting, you guys. I've never been, and we got socks. <laughs> I love socks, you guys. Oh, it has animals all over it. Look. And the colors are so pretty. Okay, you're speaking all my love languages, Jessica. Um, then we have a sea salt seasoning from Alaska. What is this? For everything. Beef, burgers, chicken, pork. Uh, so it has herbs and spices. Should we open it? Should we open it? <laughs> Should we open it as I'm opening it? Oh, it smells really good. Can you guys see that? It smells really good. It smells good where I could actually put it on my kids' food and they'd eat it. <laughs> oh, look at this. How cute is he? Oh, it's a little moose. It's a moose, right? I hope it's a moose. Is it an elk? I don't know. Is it a moose? He's so cute. He's a magnet. Look at his little arms. Oh, my boys are gonna go bonkers over him. He's so cute. Okay, then we have some king salmon jerky and teriyaki. Well, I know what I'm gonna be putting in Parker's lunchbox. Then we have a moose salad server. Okay, so this is a moose. This is a moose. <laughs> a moose salad server. Oh, it is precious. Look at that. Isn't that elegant? I've always wanted to be like that fancy lady that has like a big bowl of salad. Like, do you want salad? Do you want salad? Just so I could have like, like salad servers. <laughs> okay, more socks. Oh, more socks with little huskies on them. How cute. I love the colors. Man, oh, look, moose, little moose. Oh, you guys, people are going to be like, why do you have so many Alaska socks? And my answer is going to be, why not? Because I have a friend named Jessica in Alaska. <laughs> I am baffled how none of this stuff is broken. Because there is no padding in here. There is no um, bubble wrap. There is nothing. And none of this stuff broke. So this is, what is this? Like for toothpicks maybe? It's a little boot. It's a cute little boot. I mean, I'm not going to put anything in it because it's little and that's all that matters. Like this little jar. <laughs> Isn't that cute? These are like little kitchen things. Like I would put it over my hooded vent. Um, and then, what is this? Oh, another baby jar! Another little baby jar, how cute! Oh my gosh, everything is so little. Um, this is oh, the color, you guys. Like I don't care what's on the front, I just love the color. <laughs> It's just as obnoxious as my nail polish and my personality. <laughs> How pretty is this color? It's the area code, I'm assuming, of Alaska. Isn't that pretty? I love neon everything. Like if, if you were to ask me what's your favorite color, I'd say neon, but that's not allowed. <laughs> so I always say white. But yeah, neon everything. I love this color. Okay, then we have North Pole Coffee in St. Nickerdoodle. Saint Nickerdoodle, Saint Nickerdoodle, like Snickerdoodle. I see what you're doing there. Oh, that smells so good. Oh man, North Pole Coffee Roasting Company brings the essence of the last frontier to your home. So I'm guessing this is a brand from Alaska, right? Cause it has like the little state um, shape right there. And then we have, <laughs> Quachina. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this little nugget right here for your for your pleasure. <laughs> okay, then we have <laughs> the bare necessities, a shopping list. How cute is that? Mine actually almost is running out. So this arrived just in the nick of time. Actually, you know what? It arrived. That's all that matters. This PO Box unboxing is a lot longer than I expected and I'm loving every second of it. I hope you are too. So there were three mugs in this package from Jessica in Alaska and this mug actually matches one of the socks that she sent. Look at, isn't that cool? Like who has matching mugs and socks? I do. <laughs> and then we have this one. This mug's a little bit of a different um, style. Isn't that pretty? 
it's purple it's so happy and then the last one is this one that has all the fat animals on it we got a moose and we got a bear and we got a wolf is that a wolf it is a wolf right <laughs> Is it a husky? <laughs> I think it's a wolf. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with wolf. Let's see. Yeah, it's a wolf, right? Anyway, Jessica, you are so sweet. I am so happy that your package made it, and I'm happy that nothing broke. I'm surprised. We got so lucky with this package because let me tell you, it went through heck. <laughs> It's been a long journey that it's been on, but I'm so happy that it's finally home. And I promise you, we're gonna love it and take care of it so much. You made us so happy. I'm so excited to have so much of Alaska in my home. Like a state that I never thought even considered remotely knowing anything about, having any part of it. And now it's like all this love from seasoning to the little jars and the magnets and you outdid yourself. You're so thoughtful, Jessica. Thank you so much. One more package and we are done. This one is from Vallejo, California, from Miss Laura Mee. Laura Mee? Laura Mee Simpson? I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, so there's a lot of tissue paper. This is gonna be one of those gifts that like everything's individually wrapped and it's like extra exciting. Um, okay, the first. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you this right here. Oh, so cute. So it's for like your leash or maybe your keys or a harness. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, then we have <gasps> panda socks. Oh my goodness, look at those little ears. Look at those little ears, they're so cute. I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. And then, <gasps> oh. When you guys love on my dogs, I swear to goodness, it's like the best feeling in the world. When you guys are thoughtful for my kids, for my family, for Parker, for my dogs, it's like a million times more, uh, what's the word? It just oh, it feels so nice, you know, because that, that's my people and you guys love my people and that just makes me so happy. Look, and they match. <laughs> So many times I have thought that I'm alone in this world. I started watching your channel three years ago. Your positive outlook and personality have kept me a loyal viewer. It's odd to me that a woman in Dallas has become an important person to me. I find myself saying, oh, Danny has that, or Danny said this. <laughs> My kids don't even question when I say Danny. So sweet. I hope that this reaches you in time for Christmas. Danny, you're a wonderful person, and I hope that every morning you look in the mirror and see that. Merry Christmas, longtime panda from Vallejo, California. So this is actually a package from December um, that we're finally getting to open and our friend in Vallejo, California really needs some prayers. I know it's a little late, but hey, you know what? An abundance of prayers, even if it's three months late, I think uh, we could all benefit from. So if you guys can send some warm, kind thoughts over to our friend, Laura Me. I really hope I'm saying that right. Laura Me, Laura, Laura Me. There's so many ways to say your name. It's cute and it's pretty and I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so there's a bunch of other stuff in this box. I don't know if I talked about this in a video before, but I told you that I collect nativities and this one kind of has given me all the feels. Look how little it is. It's gonna look perfect in my living room this coming Christmas because look, you guys, look. Ready for this? Look at how little it is. This is how little all the pieces are. Isn't that amazing? She also sent like a craft one that I can do this year with the boys, which they're gonna be old enough to actually be able to help me do a really good job with this. So that's really, really special. And then there's some other stuff in here that we got like um, a leak-proof water bottle working hard to support my dog. I'm just gonna like open this and put dogs. <laughs> Such a pretty, pretty tumbler. I really like that. Isn't that cool? And then um, this little bag. Like what are the chances that it's a panda, that he's chubby and it's on this color, right? <laughs> There's a little native deodorant inside too, which I almost ordered the other day to go on my vacation because I ran out, but now I don't need to. <laughs> Thank you. And then the last thing in here is really heavy. 
and it sounds like I don't know is it broken oh no it's super broken oh I hope it didn't leak um it's a candle that smells amazing but it's all broken oh no that's okay I'm sure there's a way to still save it because I think it's just I don't even want to take it out because I might cut myself Oh yeah, it's completely broken. I wonder if there's a way to save it. I'm gonna ask my friend Martha, the one, the one that sent me these, if there's any way to save a candle that the jar's broken. I'm sure there is, right? Because that's a lot of wax and it smells good, y'all. All right, you guys, let's just talk about um, how full my heart is right now. You guys, I've said it a million times, but you changed my life six years ago. You dramatically changed my life six years ago. You gave me purpose. You kept me company. Um, you gave me friendship. And now you continue to give me happiness and joy and smiles. And I don't know what to say except thank you. You know, thank you for, thank you for believing in me and in this channel and in the purpose of what Coffee Break with Danny um, represents. I started it when I was lonely and I felt useless and I needed company of some sort. And the only way that I thought of reaching out was through common interests like makeup. And thanks to that, we've started this little community um, of people that just genuinely support one another. And despite the negativity around social media and despite the social pressures of social media, we continue to stand strong and to show others that you don't have to do anything aside from being yourself to have purpose and all of us have purpose and you guys just continuously remind me of that and I appreciate you so so much. You don't need to send me gifts but I do appreciate your love, your support, your kindness and most importantly your time. Thank you for being so generous with your time. I'm gonna go now before I embarrass myself even further but thank you again a million times thank you. I will list all of this information in the description box below. Lauren, the candles, all of the stuff that we talked about will be listed in the description box of this video. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.